Good morning, my friends. Uh, we invite the Holy Spirit into this moment with us. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Uh, to our attempt to center and stay focused on Jesus. Uh, the Hebrews writer fixing our eyes on Jesus. Uh, in praying this morning, we prayed through the Psalms, uh, some of us together, and uh, uh, one of those was Psalm 13. We were praying about that ache that we feel uh, when we live in a world that isn't the way it's supposed to be. How long, O oh Lord, the psalmist writes, will you forget us forever? How long will you hide your face from us? How long must we wrestle with our thoughts and day after day have sorrow in our hearts? How long will our enemies triumph over us? Have you felt this way? Look on me and answer, Lord, my God, give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death and my enemy will say I've overcome and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But, and you can almost hear, you hear the resolve, the choice, the, the choosing to trust. There's resilience here, but I trust in your unfailing love and my heart rejoices in your salvation, even in the midst of the ache the longing for it. That longing, I, two quick quotes. One is Ronald Rollheiser. Uh, the more you open yourself up to God and to love, the more pain you feel over the state of the world. Here's the second one, Parker Palmer. The deeper our faith, the more doubt we must endure. The deeper our hope, the more prone we are to despair. The deeper our love, the more pain its loss will bring. These are a few of the paradoxes we must hold as human beings. If we refuse to hold them, in hopes of living without doubt, despair, and pain, we also find ourselves living without faith, hope, and love. So in some way, as we go forward into a world filled with, with all sorts of things that, that are not the way it's supposed to be. Uh, the more that we long for, trust, uh, desire the kingdom of God, uh, the more we ache in the world we're in. And so we invite the kingdom and we choose, we resolve uh, as resilient followers to trust our Father's rugged commitment. Let's uh, pray that psalm back to God. How long, O oh Lord, will you forget us forever? We look around us, Father, and in a world, it, it, it seems like you're hiding your face from us. How long must we wrestle? How long must we wrestle with our thoughts and day after day have sorrow in our hearts? How long, how long will it look like, like the enemies have triumphed? Look on us and answer, Father. Give light to our eyes or, or we'll sleep in death. And our enemies will say we have overcome and our foes will rejoice in our downfall. But, Lord, we choose now to trust in your rugged commitment to us, tender, rugged commitment, your unfailing love, and our heart rejoices in your salvation. Amen. Grace and peace, my friends.